artificial intelligence tool known as ChatGPT has gained popularity for its ability to craft emails, write research papers, and answer almost any question in a matter of seconds. ChatGPT is trained to generate human-like responses to chats and dialogues. You know, your students can put in an inquiry and it will generate a response that is using human language. I've invited Haley to talk about this in detail, so buckle in and enjoy this session. Hi, my name's Haley. Um, I'm a secondary teacher librarian. I have become really interested in the debate going on on social media, but also within classrooms and schools about artificial intelligence, specifically ChatGPT. What exactly is ChatGPT? Um, it's a type of artificial intelligence that was developed by a company called OpenAI. It was created as a language model. So basically what they did was they fed all of this information into it and essentially taught it um, millions upon millions of things. And when you have, when you open it up and um, you ask it a question, it is formulated like a chat. So you ask it a question and it types out its response to you. You can ask it clarifying questions. The things that it can do are amazing. Um, a lot of people get really worried when they hear about kids um, using ChatGPT in schools. And I'll get to that a little bit later. I think one of its big downsides um, is that it can't search the internet. It can't point you to a website or a specific URL. It can't point you to a recent article written by the professor at blah, blah, blah university. The fact that it can't browse the internet means that when a student, for example, goes into it and asks it a research question, it will not provide citations for it. The other thing about ChatGPT is that it cannot think deeply. So if you want it to provide an opinion on something, it can't do that. And it'll tell you, it'll say, I'm sorry, I'm a language model, I cannot provide opinions. Um, and it doesn't always know where its information is coming from. I, I even asked um, ChatGPT, I went in there and I said, how can I determine if an essay was written by artificial intelligence? Was this essay written by AI? And then it was, says, yes, this essay was written by an AI language model developed by OpenAI. It spit out all of these answers, check for a natural language, look for lack of personal style, check for repetitive or formulaic language. So if you're reviewing student work, you're like, man, this really seems like maybe it's not their own work, go into ChatGPT, run it through there, put it into ChatGPT and say, did you write this? A lot of the time ChatGPT will say, yes, I wrote that you know, uh, which is something that it wouldn't have done a couple weeks ago. So again, because it's artificial intelligence, it is evolving and we're seeing different answers that it's putting out. The most exciting part of ChatGPT, how we can use it as teachers and how the students can use it to not only make our lives easier, but um, to ask questions and to push the learning and the teaching that we're doing. You can create discussion prompts. So one that I asked the chat GPT to do, I said, create discussion prompts for the use of imagery in The Great Gatsby. And it shot out seven different discussion questions. So as a teacher of literature, maybe I want to do a discussion about the use of imagery in The Great Gatsby, but I just, I'm having a hard time coming up with, with different enough questions that I can split my kids up into enough groups to have them discussing the different aspects of it. I'm using ChatGPT to do that. It'll help me produce those discussion prompts. It can write quiz questions and also provide feedback. It can also compose exemplars for critique. So I think this is, this is one of the most useful things that we as teachers can do to also help show our kids um, how they can use ChatGPT in their own work. What I would suggest doing in this case is having that up on the board. Show your students how ChatGPT is writing it out and then as a class, discuss what does this do well? What is it missing? Is any of the data incorrect? Because a lot of the time ChatGPT will have errors placed within it. Um, ChatGPT can also create lesson plans for you. Um, it can write letters of recommendation. I had a teacher do that recently. And of course, you're going to edit it for clarity. You're going to personalize it, that kind of thing. But it can definitely be um, 
you know, the start of whatever work that you're doing. So for example, using it to start a paper or things like that and then editing through it. I asked it, provide an intro paragraph for an essay about the lasting effects of Agent Orange. And so it wrote me a paragraph, a very well-written paragraph. It sounds like a computer wrote it. It's very matter of fact, it's very points driven. I would take this and I would say, oh yeah, okay. So it talked about um, the long lasting effects. It talked about um, when it happened, environmental impact. So it's looking at all these different things. I need to make sure I talk about those in my essay as well. So let me then write an outline for my essay and with those different things, but then I write it in my own words. I'm not actually taking the chat GPT answer and, and passing it off as my own. They can um, use it for language learning. So EAL students, chat GPT is really cool because you can copy something that maybe your teacher has written out on an assignment, pop it into chat GPT and ask it to um, explain it for an English language learner. And it will simplify the text, share something that is more accessible to those students. It's limitless what ChatGPT can do. And I think that's what is the coolest thing about it. I hope that was a good introduction to ChatGPT. It's okay to be afraid of it. I think that with any new technology that we have, knowing that it's going to be impacting our students, it can be terrifying. But what I really encourage you to do is, is sign up for an account, it's free and just play with it, ask it some questions. If you're interested in the presentation that I've created and shared with my middle and high school teachers on ChatGPT, as well as the other AI systems, it'll be linked below. You're free to use it in your own school and your teaching. Um, I also have a blog post that I've written about it where I really get into uh, more specific details as well as examples. So I'm happy to share that as well. Feel free to use it, share it, I hope that it prompts some great discussion amongst yourselves and your colleagues um, as well.